Hello, and welcome to today's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Um, we're going to take a look at the, the normal times crossword now. I'm going to open it up. Um, I'll give some commentary as I solve, and as usual at the end, we'll then revisit some of the more interesting or difficult clues. So let's, let's see what we're faced with today. Crack angle to one side. Okay, that's not meaning anything to me. Uh, one's minding one's own business, a fishmonger. Hmm, that to be something like some reference to soul or soul proprietor or soul. Hmm. Okay, well here's an easy one. Four down. Have a look at that one. Pause the video if you if you need to on the easier ones. So certainly I'll try and flag them in advance just because um, so it's just a hidden um, five down magnificent old lover recoils when shot okay okay so again this one is doable old lover we've seen so many times before um, it's, it's very often abbreviated to two letters and then recoils when shot should be screaming anagram at you of recoils and that gives us the nine letters we need so pause again if you need to. And here's the answer. So So soul is looking good at three down, three across there. Let's go. It's usually checking letters that are um, most important, though, like initial letters. Unfashionable lines making better fashion design. Unfashionable lines make better fashion design. Hmm, I'm not seeing that one. It's annoying. Let's see if we can get this long one. Where the hands go continuously. Okay, well this this is again relatively straightforward. So I can tell you here the definition is continuously. Um, and where the hands go, you need to think a bit laterally um, about where you might find hands, I'm not talking here about hands on the end of the wrists, it's uh, another form of hands. So pause again if you need to. Round the clock. There we go. So, okay, now I've got three across, I was being slow. Um, so I've sort of hinted at where this answer is going with the, the soul business already. So you just need a word that fits here which makes sense. And it is of course trader spell type. Um, okay, seven down, beginning with D, spit in drink. Uh, what is this? Spit in drink. Um, I don't know, it's annoying. I should be able to fill that in. Eight down. Okay. Uh, this is um this is I suppose a reasonably common word for the Times crossword. Um, but if you don't know it, it will it will seem very, very tricky, this one. So it's the name of a jacket, and it's something you might find um, dope in. So it's a type of uh, drug cigarette, I suppose. So pause again if you need to. The answer is reefer. Let's have a look at OK, well, I'm looking at the checking letters. I've read the first word of this clue, and I'm already... Um, ha! Although my, I think my first first thought might be wrong. Fool recalled note. Played sweetly. Okay, so I had thought immediately the answer was going to be this. It's not. Oops. We need to think more carefully. If you're, if you're from, oh my goodness, this computer is so slow today. Let's put the D back in. So. We need um, a four-letter word for fool, which we're going to reverse or recall. That's what the recalled is doing there. Followed by a note. Well, the note is the E here, so note is A, B, C, E, F, or G uh, in crosswords. Or it can also be sort of do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So just be aware of the possibility of two or even three-letter notes coming out. Um, but here it's just the E. And if you play something sweetly, 
stall check. Uh, so what's this one then? Spit in drink. Dribble doesn't hit. Um, oh, okay. I have got that one. It is. It is as it suggests. It's um, double definition. So it's the name of a drink. Uh, it, sort of the name of a drink. It's a. It's a, it's a measure of drink at, at least. And then uh, if you're. It's not using spit as in expectorate here. It's it's using spit as in somebody who's identical to someone else is the spit of them. So have a think. The answer is double. There we go. So 11 across now. Looking at this, and I'm still not seeing it. So uh, unfashionable lines make better fashion design. Haute Couture. Yeah, it is that, isn't it? I think. Sorry, I think. Um, this, this is an interesting clue. This. So, obviously, it means a fashion design. Um, but the, the word play here is hinting at the fact that we've got the word cure, which means to make better. And we've got, unf if something's unfashionable, it's out. Um, just as if something's fashionable, it's in. So we've got the unfashionable lines make better. So the lining of the, uh, of the unfashionable word here, which is out, is make better, which is cure. I think that can also be read the other way round. So, yeah, it's a tricky clue that one. And it's certainly not easy. And I needed all the checking letters and still some thought. So don't beat yourself up if that one uh, that, that's one that you struggle with. Okay. So use and match well. Okay. Uh, this is um, given the checking letters we have in there. This would be a writing if I was going full speed. Um, well here is being used as an expression as you might go well or goodness um, so we need an expression in of that nature and use a match well you know if you use a match pause if you need to and strike a light is the answer there let's have a look and see if we can use this k in 10 down cryptically as is brew a terrible non-alcoholic liquid as is brew a terrible so cryptically as is brew I'm not seeing what that one is let's try and use the A bully into A gripping history course hmm. when I see words like bully I'm always thinking Hector something like that um, course, I'm thinking um, courses in in food, so I'm thinking antipasti, antipasto. It is actually that, isn't it? Okay, so what's going on here? Um, bully is being used as an anagram uh, indicator, so we need to bully the letters of into A, and then those letters are going to grip, they're going to surround a four-letter word meaning history, well, that's past. So, as we do that, we can concoct antipasto, which is a course. Um, so, not an easy clue, that one. Um, no oil painting and incapable of drawing. Um, no oil painting here is. I think this is going to be a word that means, um, you know, somebody who's ugly. Uh, and then when, when we read the word, it will also be a pun suggesting they're incapable of drawing in some, some sense. It might not be drawing as in, you know, drawing a cartoon. It might be drawing as in drawing a gun or drawing the curtains or something like that. Um, but I'm not quite seeing it yet. You may well have got it already. Um, let's have a use, use the P. With piano gone, pair playing large keyboard instruments. Okay. 
Okay. So this one is a nice, um, it's a nice anagram. Um, the anagram indicator here is playing. Have a think about how you can get to the nine letters you need here. And it means a large keyboard instrument. And with the letters in, you may well be able to guess, especially the second word there. Um, the first word could be confirmed by the anagram. So pause if you need to. Pipe board. Uh, so here, what we've got is an anagram of pair, gone, and P for piano. Um, okay. Five letters. Characteristic purpose. Um, no, I've not seen that one yet. Let's try and use this K instead. Suspicion held by leader about liberal. Okay, so this is a word, seven letter word, which means suspicion. Um, and then we need a very short word, which means held by. Uh, followed by a four-letter word that's the name of a leader and that's all going to surround an L which is again the most common abbreviation for liberal. So have a think about that one. The answer is inkly. Let's see if we can go six down. Partner for dining, often welcoming outsiders in Grand American Party. Grand American Party, I'm thinking GOP there, Grand Old Party being a reference to the Republican Party. And I'm not quite, I don't really want to put GOP around the outside of anything, which is um, what the wordplay might be suggesting. Dining. Whining? Winding. Uh, I really like what putting that. Winding? <laughs> is that what this is saying? Okay, so what I'm looking at here is a partner for dining often. A partner for dining, if you're whining and dining somebody. So when it's saying partner for dining, I think it might mean the word whining. So I'm trying to put this sort of around the outside in some way here. I don't quite know where the, the end would go. And that the whining means to welcome, i.e. introduce into it, the outsiders in grand. Now that is making me think of the G and the D. They would be the outermost letters of the word grand. So that would be... This would be a reasonable construction of the wordplay. I'm wondering if there is an American word, when you have a party you have a wing ding. <laughs> it's a great word. I hope it exists. And if not, I'm copywriting it. So, rejection of noted formula for food thickener. Okay. Noted formula. A food thickener is normally agar, isn't it? So why is this? A noted formula, a raga, is a type of um, Indian music piece. So I think that's what it means by noted formula there. Youth has eaten wrong half of Frankfurter. Perhaps youth has eaten... Wrong heart, of, wrong heart of Frank. Okay. Nice. Very good clue. Um, so this is an eight-letter word for a youth. Um, and what we need to do here um, is we need to make an anagram of the word eaten. So eaten wrong here is wrong is being used as an anagram indicator. And half of frankfurter, well, it's not referring to a frankfurter as in a sausage. It's referring to it as, um, and the word perhaps there is telling us this, a frankfurter is an example of somebody from Germany. So half of a German would be either the G, E and the R or the M, A and the N. If we look at the grid, what we've actually, we can be sure of here is we're looking at the GER versions. We need an anagram beaten at the top of this, which is going to give us the name of a youth. And the answer is teenager. Um, one thing that, you know, people may be slightly curious about is the word has here in the clue. And I, I think that is 
you know, that there is a, a reasonable um, a reasonable case that could be made for that has being the wrong part of speech. You know, if it was youth is Eton Rock, half of Frankfurter, that would make sense because it would be saying that the youth, the word for youth is represented by an anagram of Eton followed by half of a Frankfurter. But has in the same sense, I'm not sure that's that's quite correct. It, you know, people are welcome to comment on that. So let's go back to this mark, this um, no wall the painting one. Um, incapable of drawing. Mm -hmm. No, I'm still not seeing it. I need a different head on today. Chance money order. No. Bright metallic element blue. Oh my goodness. Um, no, I tell you what I'm thinking there is, I, I, you know, I'm thinking of words that might mean blue that are short. So this short synonym approach we've often discussed in the past. And one word I can think of is sky. If I put sky here, and now I'm looking for a word that means bright, I can well imagine that there will be a, you know, a short, you know, a two-letter metallic element at the start here that is going to work. So I'm, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to think there could be an S here when I look at this clue. Earth say where flower perhaps stores energy. Earth say. Okay, well, forget that. <laughs> That's been misleading me because I was trying to put aster around the edge of E. Um, it's simpler than that. Earth is an example. Uh, I think if we were to think of a six letter of what the Earth is an example of, we would all think of planet. And that's the answer here. So it's plant for flower, perhaps, storing energy around an E there. Um, so my thought that bright was incorrect. So let's go here. Cheeky couple after party. Gifts. Okay. I think there is an old word for one's bottom, which is your your buttock, called a nate. So a cheeky couple. You'd have a pair of buttocks. I need to check that one. But um and then do for party is the most common short synonym you'll find in crosswords and donates if you gift something. Gifts are he gifts, he donates. Speed trap. Blah. No idea what that one is getting at. Okay, so we need to get some some help here in this top left, and that should filter down into the bottom left. A part of the nose is cut. Seeing that one. Oh, entwined, a moonlit scene ultimately. Passionate. Okay. Well, I haven't solved this quite yet, but I can see how this works. So, entwined, a moonlit uh, is striking me. That's an anagram of a moonlit, possibly with the E from scene ultimately. Um, in fact, it will be looking at the letters we already have. So, we need an anagram of a moonlit E, and it's a word meaning passionate. So it's going to be emotional. I needed to put the E right at the other end. See if we can get one down. Come across dancers in vacant trance. Well, vacant trance um, must, it just strikes me, it must be the, uh, the outside letters I'm looking for. Because if I take the middle out of the word trance, I get left with TE. And the wordplay here seems to be saying that I need to put a word for dancers in the middle of this vacant trance. So, dancers might be ravers, perhaps, for traverse. If you come across something, you traverse it. So that's that should be helpful, maybe. Crack angle to one side. Something clarified about mail left on ship. 
clarify butter. That doesn't look too helpful. About mail left on ship. The left on the ship. Ah, okay, yes. An old word from the port side of a ship is what we're looking for here. And my reference to clarifying butter wasn't a million miles away from what we need to think about here. As you clarify something else from the same sort of family. Um, so have a think about this one. I'm going to type in the answer and then explain it. Larboard is the answer. So we've got bore for a male and then lard for something clarified around the edge. So yeah. Not not desperately easy that one, especially if you would never come across the word larboard. Um, so a part of that is cut. Okay, I've now got this one. This is just a bridge. So part of the nose is the bridge. Let's go here. Crack angle to one side. Crack angle to one side. Okay, yeah, I have got this one. This is uh, this is one of these clues that I think even most experienced solvers will most worry about. You know, it's a four-letter word with two so-called unches, i.e., unchecked letters. And you know, there are so many possible words that fit this pattern that actually sort of refining in your mind the short list is is difficult therefore we're very reliant on getting some sort of grip from the clue and here we've got um, uh, a double definition so it's a word that means crack and a word that means angle to one side well the word crack itself has so many different meanings that you know it's it's not that useful um, but you just have to be lucky enough to think of the answer here and I think it's the, the answer is tilt if you have a crack at something you have tilted it if you angle it to one side you tilt it um, so we're nearly there. Um, let's go. So cryptically, as is brew, a terrible non-alcoholic liquid. Okay. Well, oh, I see. I see. I see how this works. Um, I'm going to put the answer in and then explain it. I don't want the video to be ages and ages long. So, drinking water. I think is the answer here. And if you look inside the letters of as is brew a terrible, you can see that there is a string of letters which reads water. So this cryptically indication at the start of the clue is suggesting that the next string of letters in the clue, um, you know, they could be viewed as having, you know, as drinking water, i.e. they've consumed it. Um, now that's that's what that's getting at. Not again. Not not an easy one. You know, if you came to that clue cold, I think you'd probably never solve it. Right. So no oil painting and incapable of drawing. Um, unattractive. So right. Okay. So the sense in which drawing was being used here was as in you know to draw something a magnet might draw something towards it um, so yeah perhaps one of those ones we should have got a little bit more quickly but say la vie okay bright metallic element blue okay so the other short word for blue that I should have thought of and didn't is of course low if you're depressed you're blue and if you're depressed you feel low so that's let's use that especially with the checking letters so now we need um, a metallic element uh, at the start to give a word that means bright. So I'd suggest we think about silver here, which is AG, um, and there we go, a glow. And if you're bright, if something's bright, it's a glow. Right, so we're nearly there, maybe. Chance money order, that's to be random. Um, Okay, all right. So speed trap question mark is a um, is a tricky clue. It's a difficult clue. Um, it's one of, it's one of these rare clues that you get where they're um, 
there isn't, you, you mustn't look at one side of the clue or the other to find the definition here. Here, the whole clue is the definition, but only in a very punny sense, which is what this question mark is trying to indicate. So, speed trap question mark. We need to think of a, another way of reading this clue where trap is not being used as sort of a radar gun, it's being used as one's, um, you know, the way one speaks. So if you, if you were capable of speaking very, very quickly, um, you would be a motor mouth. Okay, so characteristic purpose now um, is point, is it? Characteristic. Point of something is the purpose of it. Is a characteristic a point? I'd say so. And again, I want this to be random, but I'm not quite. Um, something's chance at chance. It's at random. Money order. What's going on there? Money. Oh, okay. Yes, rand is the unit of currency of South Africa and the order of merit is what's being referred to. So I think we're going to go with this and uh, let's see if that's correct. There we go. So obviously um, it's not the quickest time ever because I've, I've actually rarely for the Crack and the Cryptic channel I've gone through every single clue there and described how to solve it and we've done it in a reasonably natural order. Um, for those newcomers to the video series most most of the videos we do will be a lot shorter than this. We tend to do you know about 10 minutes most days um, and we'll just review the puzzle but occasionally when we have time we might do something a bit longer to really uh, drill down um, and go into detail on every clue. Um, so that's what we've done today. I hope that's useful and we'll see you again tomorrow. I'm cracking the cryptic.